Hi everybody, this is Debbie. This is my second attempt at this tutorial. The first one I did full double length, you know, full wrap. And I don't know how many things I did wrong. How many times I had to undo things until I... And then I... I loomed them incorrectly and I missed one band and it all fell apart anyways. Oh my gosh, it was just terrible. And I used all my... like. The kind of bands that you have to separate, they come in mixed bags. I just went for it and used like four or five different mixed um, colors from mixed bags. So this time I'm doing it just the single length and just basic bands and get it done for the purpose of demonstration. I don't have a name for this yet, but I really like it. I think it has a lot of intellectu intellectual... <laughs> architectural interest. I'm starting to set up for after 11 p.m. so yeah. <laughs> Probably shouldn't start but I keep putting it off till the next day and then it's 11 o'clock p.m. again. So anyhow I really like it. I think there's a lot of interesting things going on in it. This was one of them. This was actually my first one and I liked it. I mean it took me a while to get to this point but I know that these were loose, so I made a, I resolved that problem. I actually really like the way the purple, the blue, and the white look right here. I like these colors. I don't like how I did the sides with the different, but I really like this color scheme. And this is another one I did. For some reason, all three of these, I used the, um, the zebra. Yeah, the zebra. Because the black, the other ones are penguin. Um, the zebra bands. I have this one, this one, and this is the one I remade. I tried to salvage like some of the um, specialty bands or the, the mixed bands. And I, I like the way it came out. I used the silver metallic in the middle, which is kind of hard to see, but it has a little pop of, you know, snazz in there with the silver. And my dog's next to me chewing on his rope, so if you hear dog sounds, it's because he's right there. A cute little cider. Let me see if I can... Mm, there he is. There's that cider. I can I can only move this so much because I don't want to take it off of its little hooks hanging from the ceiling. My crazy but very effective um, tripod situation. Okay, so let's get going on this nameless design. Let's see, this is the one I used for color references uses lots of different colors. This is the color palette I'm using. I know. Ah! I just grabbed some bands. I, it's strictly for demonstration, demonstration and not for aesthetics. So, the A colored bands, A color, A placement, I use just the regular black. And I'm going to be using, what am I going to be using? I'm going to be using the um, electric purple glow in the dark. Uh, the B color bands, I use the penguin right here. And that I'm using, um, these are from Michaels. They're, they're mixed glitter, which I separated them, but I don't, I get those for like a dollar a bag. So I don't care so much if I waste those. Um, let's see. C color and position are the dual layer um, olive and what am I using for those? I am using the penguin black for those and then for the D position which are these right that come here and kind of show up back here I'm using just regular black Ooh, not in the screen very much here. All right, did I ever do that? Okay, regular black. I'm losing track. No. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm losing track. There's so many. There's eight colors in this. Eight color bands or eight different bands in this. So I'm getting confused here. Okay, um, E are the zebra bands here, and I'll be using white. And 
F are the jelly pink. I'm going to be using this Michael's Neon Yellow. That was F, right? G is the white up the middle. I'm going to be using the lime green, opaque. And finally, you can hardly see it on this one. I use um, the neon green right here. Um, I use a yellow in there. You can just you can see it popping up just a little tiny bit. It's kind of a you know just a placement. I used kind of maroon. I use maroon in here. It's more just a structural behind the scenes. But I'm going to use bright red so in case it pops up, I can see it. Okay, so let's get going. Trying to keep not confused. I'm placing a couple of bands for my closing bands because I'm going to do a double thick um, extension because it'll just look better. Uh, and then you will take that the A colored bands and place one here. Oh, I don't have a fan on here in here that's so muggy and hot. And one here, and then one here, and then you will do the same on the other side. Uh, I I hope you guys like this design. I don't like it quite as much as my acacia, which I worked so hard to make that one happen. But I love 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 it now that it's done. And this one I just think is quite interesting and it feels nice, it looks nice, it's got I don't know, just the structure of it, it's kind of hard to see but it kind of comes up here, there's like a ang it's angled up and then comes down and kind of goes in a little bit, there's a little bit of depression here so it's got a lot of interesting, this is the back side and yeah I missed a band there, whoops but we don't see that because we're not looking at it, right? So anyhow, okay, that's the initial placement. So this was A1, A2, A3, and these two here are position A4. And then I'm using the other purple glitter here for B5. So you're just going to do this. This all the way up each side. You place two of these A colored bands and then oh, they're so close to the same color. I can't. Then one B color and then do the same on the other side. Whoops, sorry about that. Place the B colored band. So we're just going to do this quickly up the loom. I feel like I'm all thumbs. My hands used to be so nimble, but I'm just going to go up one side and then the other. And I'll just stay on camera because this should be fairly quick. I'm not even going to try to be neat. <laughs> I just want to get the demonstration done. I can get another tutorial posted. I'm sorry, I've gotten so slow at this. It just seems like everything just takes up so much time and then it's bedtime. And even though I try to get to bed on at a reasonable hour, I still wind up putting in the earplugs at 3.30 to 5.30 a.m. I don't know why. It's not helping any, but here I do. I do that bad habit, which I need to break. Okay. It just feels like when I'm on camera doing this, it just, I feel like, I do, it's just so, I feel like I'm so slow. Okay, now we get to the end here. Oh, I didn't even show you the position. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm racing to get this done. It is a seven bar design. These three are parallel 
and then these step up one and these step one. I'm so sorry about that. Jeez. Okay. Now I have to do it on this side. Let's see. So you who are well versed in looming can just fast forward to the next section, you know, to the next step. But I will go as quickly as I can for those of you who are following along. I never haven't figured out how to just high speed, you know, fast forward like you guys, some of you do. That you're on camera, but you know, you fast forward sections of it so the tutorial goes faster. I usually just, since I have the ability, I can just stop my camera and then start again. And then I put all the segments on um, Windows, what, Windows Live or something. It's whatever comes with Windows 7. It's just a real simple editing program. That puts the clips together, and you have a few options for transitions between segments, and I know I think it works fine. I haven't had any complaints. I think the only complaints I get is me rambling like this. <laughs> but I don't know. What? What's happening? For some reason. My glitters are getting mixed up with my glow in the darks. Okay, so we're just going to put these two here and moving on. Moving on. Okay, now we're going to take the C colored band, which I said was going to be what? Oh, yeah. The um, penguins. And we're just going to. Place them up like this. We'll do it on each side, but I'm just going to do one side first and then the other. I won't be doing all of this. I will be taking breaks if I need to go sit in the other room where there's a nice ocean breeze. And um, Okay, you, this will be the last one. So you have these two here, and then this is the last one you will place. And then do it on this side. Because I need a fan and an ocean breeze. We Southern Californians are not used to sweating perspiring um, because the dry air keeps us evaporated <laughs> but lately we've had monsoonal moisture and it's been humid I grew up with that in New England first 18 years of my life but I've been in California since I was 19 so now I'm 55 so yeah, been here a while. Much more used to the dry climate. Like it. Except when we're in drought conditions and there's water rationing. I don't like that very much. Okay, next we're going to place our D bands, which are the solid black. So I'm just going to go up this way, place them at an angle. After this, I have one more band to place. Then I'll start. I'll show you, you know, the first round of looping back, and then there'll be more band placement, and then we will finish the seat. You know, finish looming or looping back the bands. So we were going to do this as far as there's a C colored or C placement bands. here. I'll have to do that off camera before I have too many bands on my loom. Okay. So 
And now we're going to grab, I know it's hard to see, but there's the two A bands right here, you know, on these four outer pins. Now we are going to take our color E, which, what did I say? I think, yeah, it's going to be, I'm using white. So we're just going to go straight up column three and then column five. just going right to here I think <laughs> see I I went and took apart that bracelet that I I flubbed up so much and salvaged as many of the bands and came up with this one so I did that just a couple days ago so I'm trying to get this tutorial done before it's no longer fresh in my mind and it sits over here on my bench next to me for several months until I for, and then I forget what I did. I seriously have to get more regular on my tutorials. Okay, now we're going to turn the loom around and we're going to do what has become one of my very favorite stitches, which I've been doing variations of it since the very very earliest designs I ever did. Who I saw it do it first I don't know I just like it. So we're going to reach under here bring this to its home pin and then reach down grab its other half and go back. Very simple. Looks the same on this side only backwards. I go from out to in, you know from inside to out and then back I don't think it makes a difference on this design, but I do have designs where it makes a difference. So I guess I'll do it a couple more times. Reach in and under, grab that angled band, bring it over, and reach. You're going to be pulling this, the top of this, and then this band back. So you can grab the base of this very band and bring it over itself and back. It's kind of a slip knot, only we're not letting go of one of the ends to make it slip, and thus not. So maybe it's a slip, it's kind of a slip knot, it, an uncompleted slip knot stitch. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna go off camera and grab something cool to drink, finish these up, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that it's all done, make sure, you know, this is how it was, make sure you turn it back around so, you know, that the arrows are pointing away from you. And how I resolved these loose bands was very, these black ones right here, oh, I'm using black ones again, is very simple. And it is just a matter of going up and twisting taking it off the pin and twisting. And this is how it looks if you want to use your hook. Very simple. It's just as easy to do it either way. Well, the fingers are a little bit simpler. <laughs> Unless you're very nifty with a hook. Like Miss Young Abby, expert looms it. She just flies. Oh, yeah, I forgot to grab a, um, a base for that, which I'm going to have to do. And look, some of these are turned the wrong way. Um, I'm not even worrying about it. I mean, if you're using, you know, dual layer, you're definitely going to want to you know, try to fix those, straighten those out. So that you have a neater ending design, but I am strictly trying to get this done. 
Hold on, I gotta grab a couple of pieces of base right over here. I'll be right back. Not going far or long. Thank you so much. It's already kind of getting tight too. Just give me a second here. There we go. Don't need that half piece. All right. Next, let's push those down a little bit to give me more room. Now we can finish closing the top part of the border. Whoops. So we're going to grab our A bands and we're going to do this right here, I think. Am I doing this right? Something is wrong here. There could be no denying. Hey, Mom. I'm on, on camera. Oh. It's okay. Hold on. Do you need something? My hair cut. No. Just yank it out of my hair. No problem. I, I okay. kept all of them. Okay. I think this is... Something is missing. I think I, I forgot. I'm going to go off camera and come back. I think maybe I had to do one more up here. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um... Let me think what we have to do here. Okay, take this off. And what we're going to do is... Is what? Okay. We're going to go back and add another B band. And then, okay, I need to extend it out one more set of pins. I didn't go far enough. Okay, so we're backtracking just a little bit, but nothing too complicated. Okay, so I just added one more section of A and B bands, and then we have to add our C bands, one here and one here, and then one D band, whoops, okay, the only thing we're going to have to do is, since we looped that one, is to lift this off and place a white band right here and then put this back on okay does that make sense we're just going to lift this off I think this will be okay. Let me look here. Yeah, this should be fine. And then we'll quick turn it back around and just do these two. Sorry about that. Oh, we'll find out when, when I'm done and pull it off and I might have to do a third tutorial. Wouldn't that be lovely? <laughs> no, I think this is going to be okay. Okay. Now, let's turn it back around so the arrows are facing away from us. Now, we will do finish the border. So we're going to take one from here to here to here. That's mine. You silly. No, no, let go. Thank you. He took a puppy. He was being frisky with something that he shouldn't. Oh, you're so cute. That's just the cutest little. Look. 
everybody. Where are you? Where are you, Cider? Where are you? Look at that cute puppy. Hey. Cute puppy went away. Cute puppy. Over there. Hey, cute puppy. <laughs> Cider. Oh, that's all I can do is back and forth. Hold on. I think I'll loosen, the, loosen my camera up a little bit. Okay. Sorry about that. Distracted by a cute puppy. Okay, so we did the border. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too much. Now we are going to place the F bands and the G bands. Yes, that doesn't confuse you at all, does it? So my F and G, the F are the yellows and the G are the green. So F comes before G. So we are going to place one like this. Oh, ah. one like this. You didn't see that move, did you? Because I'm not messing this one up. <laughs> place F and then G. And F and G, F and G, F and G. <laughs> that doesn't sound right, does it? F and G, not F and. <laughs> ah. Bad, Debbie. Okay. So you're to two F's like a V and then one straight up G. F and a G. <sighs> I'm just going to do this on camera. Yeah, that the one I the first tutorial I did of this. I mean, I think I did everything possibly wrong except place the looms, place the bands with the loom turned around the wrong way. That's the only thing I think I didn't do wrong. Unbelievable! It didn't even turn into a better design or anything was just a mess. <laughs> you think all the effort I would have stumbled on a better design or something that knew. All wasted effort, wasted bands, wasted time. <laughs> oh well. Just trying to be more careful this time. Okay. And I know this is going to seem weird. But I'm stopping here. Right? I think. Yeah. And if not, we'll add more later. <laughs> okay, next. Um... Next, we have our final step 11. Each step is a different band placement. I'm going back to using, just making sure. So these were F and G, so H. Nope, sorry, not, we're not doing H yet. I need more our bands, hold on. Didn't get enough bands out. I took a couple pictures of my organization, but I don't know if I showed you before, but this is how I use these real cheap, they, they're supposed to be $249, because that's what it says on the, on the aisle, but they wind up bringing up at $299. I've caught it a few times, but at Michael's, these are just in the beading section, and I like to sort according to color. So I'm going to try to remember to post a picture of how all my boxes, I have probably a... I don't know, 14, 16 boxes with different sections of, you know, different colors. So anyhow, <clears throat> now we are going to do the upside down V like this. And hopefully I'll get this done before my husband gets home. 
And I know I always like, oh no, husband's home, I have to get off. And it's only because he's noisy. <laughs> and he's going to come barreling and his big man voice and his manliness and causes a ruckus when he gets home. It's so quiet because everyone just kind of hangs out in their own room and quiet, you know. Everyone's kind of quiet around here and he comes home and dad's home, Bill's home. But that's okay. He's kind of in charge of doing everything because I'm too tired to keep those things in my mind and, and take care of them myself. So he gets to be loud if he wants. Just has a big deep voice, you know, like the guys mostly do. Okay, almost done here. And I know you're probably wondering what's all this big blank space. But don't worry, got you covered. Gotcha. It works out. Truly, trust me, it does. So this one, we're going to go all the way to what will be the cap pin right there. And finally, you won't get me singing anything, even in words, because I have a horrible voice. I am so flat. I can't even do happy birthday justice. Okay. Finally, the H color is straight up the middle. This is kind of an anchoring, kind of holding it all together to get it started. So you probably, you know, I would not recommend using a thick band, just a stretchy band, because we're, it's going to go through, you know, some stretching. And this is a design where it's so complicated in. in Inter oh, also, it's too late now, but these, you definitely want these to be stretchy. I forgot to mention that. I'll have to remember to put a, um, a note in my tutorial as I'm placing those and warn, give you a fair warning, because, oh my gosh, if that breaks, look, it's, it's, it's all like, no, no getting it out. No fixing it, unless you can grab the two ends and tie it together. Or get a piece of floss and weave it through and capture all the bands so it doesn't come all done. I've done that and it's worked. Okay, so we've gone to the end. And since I'm making a double thick extension for this, just in case it looks nice and worth giving to somebody, I'm using two bands for my cap. I just think when you make, uh, if you make an extension because you're doing a single length, um, when you make, especially when it's a wider design, if you use double double bands, um, it looks nicer. Okay, now let's get going. Okay, turn it around. And we're going to reach under the cap and we're going to do single chain this top band. You know, I've done this so many times, you think I would do it. Much more quick. Oop. Don't want to do that. Just going to be the wrong bands. There we go. Oh, maybe my left hand's tired. Maybe I need to use my right hand for a while. That was the problem. As I've told everyone, I've, I'm starting to do that color fly and different apps like that, the adult coloring books where they have nice designs and you color them. I was a coloring whiz by the time I was in third, fourth grade, or second or third grade probably. And I love to color and I color with my right hand and this hand's just sitting there holding the paper. I'm going, bee, bee, bee. and after you do this, you know, for half an hour, your wrist gets tired. So I'd see this hand just sitting there, well, it's not doing anything. That's what the right hand wants to do, but I don't want to stop coloring, so that's where this happened. <laughs> and I think I was naturally lefty. I'm a natural lefty anyways, but teachers maybe use my right hand. My parents, my mom made me use my right hand because they thought it would confuse my brain, but I actually think being ambidextrous is a really, bad, really good thing. So now we're going to take this, and this is why it needs to be stretchy. I'm going to stretch it out. Now, I, this whole design started because I saw somebody's design. I don't 
No. What design it was. But somebody's design I recently did. And unfortunately, I don't do too many other people's designs because they just. I, I barely have time to do my own designs. So there's just. It's not that I don't want to. It's just physically and mentally impossible with my limited health to do what I like to do. I have a wish list of bracelets I want to make that is so long. Because you all, all you other designers make such great, gorgeous bracelets, and I want to learn also the the hook only designs. But I don't know. As I said, I'm doing this tutorial. It's like probably eleven after eleven thirty now, and it's still so hot. As I've said before, this room here, where it used to be my universe room, because I lived in it practically, and my soap, my TV, everything. I also did looming. It's just opposite side from the ocean. Oh, it's an easterly, easterly direction, so it does not get any breeze. And the only time it does, we get a downdraft, and the sewer pipe is kind of above this window. So yeah, <laughs> when I do get a breeze here, I get some lovely odor with it. Lovely. Okay, this will be. Whoops. Oh. Ah. Hold on a second. I pulled this one off. I gotta grab it. Too busy chatting about my sewer problems. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so even when you do get a breeze on this side of the house, it's not pretty. We're not gonna do the last one. Don't need to do the last one. There's really no point in it. So it looks like that. Now, I'll show you this step, then I'm just going to get more, more air on the other side of the house. We are going to be looming these A-colored ba bands. Reach down, grab the one on top, and we're going to be bringing these all up to the center pin above them, not to their home pin. Another thing I, I've done since way back when, since I first started, I, it, you know, I'm guessing if I didn't think of it on my own, and I did see somebody else do, actually I did see someone do this one, and it was a, actually a rainbow loom design. I think it's their zipper design. We'll bring it to a non-home pin. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember, you know, they have very specific uh, tutorials with the little, little picture that shows which direction to place the bands and stuff. Oops. Well, maybe I'm going to stay here after all. It's going so fast. So yeah, so that one, you know, this stitch here is very often accredited to me. and I, mean, I didn't quite claim it as my own, but I did think it was. because I didn't you know, remember it. And then one day I was at Michael's going through one of their instruction, Rainbow Loom instruction books, and I was flipping through and I saw a design that used this, and I wait a minute, did this come after me? You know, after I first did it, and I actually don't even think that was a zipper design, I think it was somebody else's design, and um, it predated mine. So, yeah. And, you know, we don't really care anyways. It's just that a lot of people thought it was mine, and it's not, so I want to make sure everybody knows that it's not mine. I just think I made it popular because I used it. Oh, oh, whoa, he's talking to me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he wants to touch. You broke your rope. His rope was twice as long. He, he loves to chew it and he just came in half and he wants me to throw it. He wants to play. I don't want to play. I'm busy. Oh, he's so, he's so cute. I can't stand it. No, I'm not playing. Leave me alone. Go away. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. Okay, I'm going to get you started on this one. <laughs> I've been playing with my dog, man. I really Oh, he growls, but he's like, it's a play growl. He's like the biggest wimp there was. He whiffs and barks when someone comes to the door, but I'll tell you what, if he's outside, he puts his tail between his leg and runs. Now, hush, I got instructions to do. 
They're so cute. <laughs> okay. This was one of the things I did wrong my last time. Shh. Hush. You're making me lose my concentration. Okay. We're going to reach down here and grab this fan. Bring it up. Then we're going to reach in. And these yellow bands right here, we're going to bring them out to their home pin. And we're going to just do that. Very simple. Maybe I ignored him long enough. I just won't say his name. Just laying down next to me. I won't say anything. He's so cute though when he's bored and no one will play with him. <laughs> He'll start running back and forth. There's like from this back of this room all the way into the front of the house because the mobile home, you know, there's like a, it's just like goes straight up the center. And he'll run back and forth. He gallops. He sounds like a little galloping horse. And he'll toss his bone or his ball or whatever up in the air and growl at it and catch it and race back to this end and race back. <laughs> I've tried to capture it on camera so I can post it, but it's such a narrow stretch. And the minute I pull it, stand up and turn on the camera, he stops and looks at me and does his woo and growls and barking at me. So one of these days I'll catch it because it's hysterical. It's so funny. Yeah, and I don't understand, like, dog toys. Like, Martha Stewart has this line of all these cute little stuffed animals, but pretty much they have no more sturdiness than a stuffed animal you'd buy, you know, a, a little baby. And we have tried to buy, like, $15 toys that are made out of canvas and really ruggedly made, and he rips them apart in less than two days. It doesn't matter. He shreds them. He disembowels them as if it was his kill and he wanted to get down to those organ organs and get great nutrition. All he gets is fluff though. <laughs> and then we have a bunch of fluff balls to pick up around the house, huh, Cider? Okay. okay. Well, I got through that. <coughs> some crow started me. Okay, now we're going to start with the um, border. And I'm going to do this one side and then I'll do the other side. Here's a big truck. That sounds like a fire truck. Sounds to be for a tow truck. I'm sorry. I'm... Yeah, it looks like a fire truck. Oh. Huh? Oh God, I hope everybody's okay. They're just passing through. Okay, so you bring that one up. Let me do this side too, so. I'm surprised he didn't bark more. He was such a quiet pup for the longest time. Okay, but now he barks. Doesn't bark as much as other dogs do, but he does his share. Okay, so now we got that done. This is going to be this. This is how it's going to work. We're going to take this band and bring it up here, not to its home pin. And now this is the sequence. So I'll do this one here. Get this these setup bands done. Okay, now the sequence is going to go all the way up. It's going to go. Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness. You know what? It's going to be okay, but I think I was supposed to put a white one all the way down to here. No, it doesn't show it. It shows it stopping here. Okay, we'll see. All right. The first in the sequence. Don't forget to twist these guys. 
And also twisting them all in the same direction will probably not make a big difference in this one, but it always helps when you do something to all do it in the same direction. Okay. Did you even see that? I probably had it. Okay. If you didn't see that, because I've been so distracted, is I just looped out the um, from here to here to here to here and then up to here and I took this one out and put it up here. I think you saw that one but if not I took the one that was right here and brought it up here so let me show you again in case you missed that one. The other ones are basic. That's what he does. He's, he's doing his galloping thing. Take this out and put it up here. You were such a distraction dog. Okay here's the sequence. You bring this one up here this one straight up. <laughs> and then you reach down and grab this one and bring it up here. It is such a goofball. <laughs> I can hardly stand it. Okay, you bring that one to its home pin, this one to its home pin, and reach down and grab this one. See, I refuse to play with him, so he's entertaining himself. Okay, so we're going to bring this one up, bring this one up, and reach down, grab this one right here under all these bands, and bring it up to this pin. Not to this one, but it's going to have a little bit of a stretch there. I'll do it one more time. Oop. Oh, I'm doing it right. I'm sorry. Just got lost in my direction where I was going. Okay, so bring this one here, this one here, and this one here. And I'm going to go off camera and go cool down. Oop, my camera's a little crooked. Oh well. Alrighty. I've done all that and including this last bin here gets brought up to that one. Okay, we're almost done. And I totally these white bands, I definitely brought them all the way to the end on this one. So let me see if I did it on the... Huh. Okay. Just in case, uh, I'll make, you know... I'll um, make a little caption to advise you. But let's turn it back around so we can look at what we're, you know, as we place it. When we placed it, the bands on rows... Um, columns three and five. Remember I had to add a, another white one here. Might have to add a, this last another one here. So the only thing that will do when you start looping it back is you'll start down here. But I'm starting up here because I don't have one and I don't want to try with all those bands on there to try to get one in there. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'm going to start here and see what happens. Oh, please. Please work because that's what my instructions actually say. So you're going to look for that white band or whatever color you use. And this is why you need it stretch this needs to be stretchy. So gently take it out. Coax it with your fingers if you have to so it does not break. Because there's a lot of tension. I mean, generally the opaques don't break, but I don't want it to be the first time. I really, really want to get this done. So, this is just boring, but it won't take very long. I'm just going a little slow just to make sure I don't bust a band. And I definitely won't have the um, traditional little teardrop shape because 
you know, they they've been distorted by the little the penguin bands, penguin bands. Come on. But it makes for this this really nice border here. This edging, whatever. I think it's so cool. Okay, got one side almost done. Boy, those pants are thin looking. Oh. Fortunately, if, once we get this off, you know, without breaking any, that back into this place. Whew. Talk about making us breaking out in a sweat. Stressing out over breaking bands after you've gone through all this, right? Come on. There's not a bottom band, so it's, you know, you can't just fish down to the bottom. It's kind of lost in there with all those other bands, but since it hasn't been loomed yet, you know, you can see it kind of going across the opening. See it? You see that? See right there? It's chewing on a rib bone. Beef ribs, not pork, because pork, beef, pork would be too small. They last him forever, although he did have one that he finally shred, you know, shattered and splintered into a bunch of pieces. We have a uh, ham bone, you know, like the, it's the knuckle of a ham bone from Easter, and a piece of that's still floating around somewhere. I haven't seen it in a while. Maybe it's in the backyard. Or maybe it finally got swollen up and someone threw it away, but those are great. They gnaw on those for a long time. He's just a dog. He's being a dog. Chewing on a bone. <laughs> Gotta be very careful what bones, those who don't know, you give dogs. You definitely don't want to give your regular steak bones. Those break and splinter too easy. Chicken bones, poultry bones are a huge no-no. Those can cause serious damage. But the knuckle bones, big knuckle bones, are usually the best. And... If a rib bone's big enough, they seem to be fine until, you know, he chews it down too thin and they can break. But if it's thick enough, they usually can't. I mean, he's only a 30-pound dog, but I tell you what, he chews like an 80-pound dog. <laughs> he shreds things like an 80-pound dog. All right. Almost, almost done here. these last border bands and closing it all up and hoping that I didn't mess up this tutorial okay now I'm going to I'm, when I make an extension I like the pin, the clip in the middle I don't like it at the edge so be patient I'm going to Put a few on this side. So I'm going to reach in here, grab two bands, not just one. Oh. Come on. Okay, this is starting to get on my nerves. I'm just doing it. I got three bands, not two, but 
I think it'll be okay. So this is how I do the double bands. Okay, I, you know, I just pull the two and then turn it both around like this so they don't get twisted. So I'm just going to add a couple more. Oh, come on. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Well, actually, I did. I did one. Um, I made a young loomer, a new loomer's design. Um, it's like a crazy for cats, all spelled out. 19, crazy for cats, 19. She did a cute little design. She named it Reptilian, which I actually have a design by that name, but when I did my search, I, you know, did the tutorial a year ago, I always search on YouTube. I type in rainbow.com and then whatever name bracelet. I'm intending, you know, I'm hoping to name it and search to see if anyone did because the very first tutorial I did, the inchworm, my daughter came up with it. Oh, it looks like an inchworm. I thought, oh, that's so cute. All right, so I do the tutorial and everything and I post it. Come to find out, somebody already had a design called Inchworm. So I changed my title to The Inchworm. <laughs> so from then on, I think once I forgot to look online, maybe twice, you know, more recently, I forgot to look to see if a name had been used. Because there's so many designs out there now, you know, all kinds of clever people have come up with clever names and clever words for the bracelet so definitely I find doing a search I mean it's it's not like a sin or a crime or anything but you know somebody's already used the name but I think it's okay like if somebody wants to name it tree and then somebody else names there's trees you know it's it is a, technically it's a different word or a different form of the word so that's fine but If we can, you know, if we can have our own name, that's okay, but it's no biggie. Okay. I'm going to use a hook because these there's so much on these. Pretty much you just do, you know, the third and the fifth, and for the most part, the middle one just pops off. One might a little band might get caught, but it's definitely hard to pull it off with your fingers because there's so many bands on these two rows, which give it that little ridge that I like. Oh, please, please, please be okay. I don't want to do this again. Most ready to find out the verdict. All right. Oh, and this design, it definitely needs to like set overnight. Um, this looked pretty sloppy, especially these bands. They look really sloppy, and these they all look loose, but um, they tighten up after overnight. They kind of settle in. See. I, how loose all that looks. It looks really terrible, but trust me, in uh oh, I'm going to put a clip on that because I think I missed my I didn't grab the right bands for my um, for my cap. So you definitely, this is a design where you need to work it a little bit. And the opaques aren't the best to use for this because it kind of overstretches them. But as I said, overnight, they it does come back to life. I mean, they come back to position. Oh, I, I actually like the, the green and the yellow in the middle. And the pink really, the red's kind of popping up. So one thing I like to do when I do this one little stitch here, 
Um, use a toothpick, um, a bobby pin, like with the little end off, the little plastic end off, um, a paper clip, anything thin. And I like to, they get kind of down, so if you pull them out, it just really neatens it up. So uh, that's what I do on this, and you know, if it comes, if they're twisted, just grab it and give it a little twist, and it'll go into place. You kind of lift and go, you kind of flick it. So, anyways, so you do that on both sides, and when you do that, it, see how, see already how all these lay, um, are laying down nice and neat now supposed to be an all sloppy here so definitely goes into you know into place and that's the design and why I have those instructions I'm just looking real quick okay yeah see the black one here I didn't go oh, I did okay I've got to change those it doesn't matter really it doesn't alter the design except that it looks a little see it's not quite as finished because I don't have the the white the white band linking to the border so I will put in the instructions to add that one final band um, on rows three and five to go all the way to the end but definitely see my instructions so one short of for the full length but it'll be a little nicer going the full length, but you know what? Wearing it, you're never going to see it. It's just this one little little end that doesn't look the same. It doesn't look quite as nice. All right, so here's my yet unnamed design. And sorry, this one doesn't look all great. I mean, it's a little interesting color-wise, but um, the tutorial is correct enough. I just had that little fumbling part with the end bands, but hopefully you'll get through it and I won't confuse you too much and you will like this design too. Can't wait to figure out the name. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want and check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing. Bye-bye.